हाई एंड वेलकम टू अ वेरी वेरी स्पेशल एपिसोड ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम स्नेहल प्रधान एंड विथ मी इज़ आनिया श्रब सोल द वाइस कैप्टन ऑफ द इंग्लैंड क्रिकेट टीम आनिया वेलकम टू द चैनल हाई सो वे गोन वे हियर एट लॉर्ड्स अ कपल ऑफ डेज बिफोर द फाइनल वे गोन टू टॉक अबाउट समथिंग डिफरेंट समथिंग यू वॉन्ट सी इन मोस्ट इंटरव्यूज आनिया एज अ फास्ट बोलर यू आर ऑब्वियसली अ स्विंग बोलर फोकसिंग ऑन मूविंग द बॉल इन टू द राइट हैंडेड बैटर एज अपोज टू दी आउट आउट एंड आउट फास्ट बोलर टाइप्स दैट वी डू सी इन वुमेंस क्रिकेट वेन डिड यू रियली डिसाइड दैट दिस इज दिस इज माई स्ट्रेंथ दिस इज वॉट एम गोन स्टिक टू दिस इज वॉट एम गोन फोकस ऑन इट प्रॉब्लम हैपन मिड वाई थ्रू द टू थाउजेंड एंड थर्टीन वर्ल्ड कप इन इंडिया um we were playing in a game against the west indies and and the ball just wasn't really swinging for me um trying to swing the ball back into the left hander so a way swing so i thought i'm just going to turn the ball around and see if it, if see if i can get it to swing the other way and um and it swung quite a lot so i was like oh it's quite exciting i'm a, i'm going to try and stick with this and i did for that game and was quite successful so i just kind of stuck with it throughout the tournament and so ever since then if um kind of that's when i really started bowling in swing so it's after you played international cricket that you kind of figured out what your best strengths are yeah it was it was literally midway through a game um at the at the last world cup i'd always tried to swing the ball um away from the right handers and mm-hmm. and with my action that's quite hard to do um the the in swing probably comes a bit more naturally so um i just decided to abandon the away swing and and go for the in swing and uh, as a fast bowler have you been slightly disappointed with the wickets we've had in england a lot of teams came to england preparing for a swing and seam and we've had pretty flat almost like robo said subcontinent subcontinental decks look i think um <laughs> we've had some some really good weather here in england um probably better than than we'd have most summers and that's meant along with obviously lots of games played at four venues that the pitches have been quite dry and and tended to get a little bit kind of slower and lower um as the tournament's gone on but i think especially early in the tournament the the pitches were um exceptional and and really showcased the batters and um i guess it puts you as a bowler under pressure um you've got to really nail your skills so um coming into the semi final uh looking back at your semi final with against south africa you were uh the second to last batter there and you took quite a bit of time to walk out to the middle what was going on for a minute we thought you were going to be timed out oh i, I don't think i took that long um but i was sat up in the dressing room as opposed to being sat down um on the bench so i obviously had a bit of a a longer walk out to the middle um i think everyone it didn't feel that long to me so um it obviously felt longer for everyone else but um it gave me a little bit of time to kind of compose myself um so i was ready to go when i got out to the middle So uh, all of you if you have any questions you can leave them in the comment we'll uh, look up at them at the end of the video uh, coming back to the final it's a huge home game for the entire england team you've got uh, henry was telling us almost 100 people from amongst your family and friends coming to watch all together is it an extra pressure playing in front of your family or is it something you've grown up with it's something i've grown up with um particularly here in england um i'm really close with my family in particular so they've been at every game um kind of throughout the competition and actually i i really enjoy the fact that they're here i don't see it as an added pressure because um i guess they're your family and and win lose or or draw the game um that almost doesn't matter to them that doesn't um change anything like that so i really enjoy having them here and I, it's a really special occasion i guess particularly for my parents who have supported me through the years driven me around to lots of different grounds when i was younger and things like that so for them to be able to come to lords and and watch me play in a world cup final is is going to be a really special day for them as well okay. and uh, speaking to a few of the girls we've realized that it, it isn't as much of a home final as we thought because not many of the girls have played at lords before have you and what's it going to be like Uh I've played once here before. Mm-hmm. Um and I think some of the, some of the other girls have and some haven't but um I, I think in a World Cup final it, that almost doesn't really count for a great deal. Um every everyone it won't be used to playing in front of the number of people that are going to be here on Sunday. So mm-hmm. I think people will be nervous but if you weren't nervous for a World Cup final then uh, there's probably something wrong with you. So uh we will be nervous and I'm sure the Indians will be nervous as well and it's just about getting settled in the game and I think once the game gets going that kind of takes care of itself. India in the final is probably not something most people saw when the tournament started. Is it a surprise the way they've come back uh, obviously beating uh, England in the opening match going off the boil a little bit and coming back strongly? I don't think it's a surprise for us um in particular I think we obviously saw how good a team they were in that first game and um we always knew that they were one of probably about five or six teams who thought they'd be in with a chance of winning 
um, this tournament and they've got some world class players and I guess you, you see the innings that Harman Preet played yesterday just to show just how talented they are. Mm-hmm. Okay, are you okay taking a couple of questions? Yes. Yeah. So let's go into the comments. Who's your favorite player in the Indian squad? Um, I think it would be Jolanga Swami. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously as a as a fellow opening bowler um, but I also really admire her kind of longevity how long she's played for and how good she still is over playing for that long time you, you see sometimes when, as people um, get a bit older that they drop off but she is she is as good a bowler now as she was when I first started playing kind of 10 years ago and I mean you see the ball that she got Meg Lanning out with yeah. yesterday um, you, you only have to look at that to know that she's still a world class bowler that was pretty special that delivery do you uh, interact much with uh, julan off the field uh, beyond uh, the matches that you played do you share notes with fast bowling um, about fast bowling with her um i haven't had a huge amount of opportunity to speak to her off the pitch um, but she's definitely someone i'd like to talk to and uh, but i also think with these kind of competitions that are coming uh, around the world with the women's big bash and the kia super league um that you interact more and more with players from opposing countries and um I, like I personally think it's really good to speak to them because everyone can learn stuff of other people. Okay, last question from the crowd. Ah, uh, this is going to be a difficult uh, not an obvious one for you. Now this is a question that uh, was asked to Mithali Raj and I'm going to address it here because probably it has uh, a wider ramifications who is your favorite male cricketer whereas actually we're looking at a tournament where female role models have taken up such center stage so it's the kind of question that mithali raj pretty much dismissed leading up to the tournament do you think now more and more female role models are available so this question is probably going to be obsolete in a couple of years um i think if this hopefully this question will be obsolete in a couple of years um like i said i think this tournament full stop has been brilliant for showcasing women's cricket and um and and you are getting some some genuine role models in every team around the country people who um other people can aspire to be like and you see in our team you have someone like Nat Siver who's now got a shop named after her and um i remember watching quite a few of the i mean our domestic competition the men's 2020 and they were still talking about um the nat meg on there and things like that so i think it's really showing that the game is really expanding and there are those role models and the more um uh people can watch women's cricket around the world the more these role models will come about absolutely thanks a lot anya for speaking to us from all the viewers uh, back home and around the world thank you so much thank you thank, thank you, you.